hey guys welcome back to the channel so in our last video we finished the unwrapping for this boathouse model and today we are going to export it in substance painter then start texturing so i have created some separate uv sets for each part so one for the boathouse with the window and the door one for the wooden support of the boathouse and one for the glass and one for the metallic parts and i have exported all these as obj now we're going to import this in substance painter so i'm going to take a new document and import my obj mesh and i'm going to take the resolution 2048 and normal map format to opengl as usual and i'm going to bake the mesh maps first so let's go to texture set settings and go here in the bake mesh maps we need to bake all the maps here so that we can use all these materials on our mesh so i'm going to take the resolution 2048 you can take it much higher if your pc supports so i'm going to leave it as it is for now and i'm going to deselect the thickness and id we are not going to use those two maps and i'm also going to use uh, anti-aliasing 2 by 2 and uh, click on this bake selected texture Since we have uh, four UV sets and so much polygons in our mesh, it might take a few minutes to bake all these maps. So just wait and let it finish. So our maps are done. Now I'm going to use a texture from Quixel Bridge for this boathouse. So I'm going to go to layers and delete this and go to Quixel Bridge and I have downloaded this weathered wood planks and i'm going to go to files and drag and drop all these in our substance painter so i'm going to select all these maps so for the displacement i'm going to use this exr not the png and select all these drop it here and define them as textures and you can either import this to current session or to your project or you can even add this to your library so if you add it in current session when you close substance painter these textures are going to be removed so make sure to add this to your current project or your library so i'm going to import it in my project and import let's save our project first so i'm going to go to my texture set list and select my import house uv set first and take a new fill layer so that we can import all these maps in these slots as you can see we have an AO map here but we don't have an AO channel so to add an ambient occlusion channel what you can do is you can go to texture set settings and in the channels here click on this plus icon and on the top here you'll see ambient occlusion click here and it will add a new channel in your materials properties click on it to enable this and now we have a space here so that we can put our AO map here so let's start with the base color so i'm going to select this albedo and drop it here and AO to AO displacement to height normal to normal and roughness goes to roughness we are not using any metallic channel so i'm going to turn this off and let's work on the tiling so i'm going to repeat the tiling to something like this and we need to rotate this texture so i'm going to add the rotation of 90 so this looks fine and uh, what we need to do is we need to add a filter here so i'm going to right click and add a filter and here i'm going to select hsl perceptive so we can make some changes in this texture so i'm going to decrease the saturation a little bit do something like this and you can make it a little darker or lighter So I think this looks fine. And I don't want this texture on my 
doors and windows so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here edit and group and right click add a black mask go to my polygon fill and uh, change it to this mesh fill and select my boat house and now we are done with this so we have created the texture for this now let's add some material on this wood support so i'm going to go to this wood material go to layers delete the empty layer and we'll use material from the default presets here so let's take this wood rough and rotate to 90 so this material looks fine i'm going to turn on the normal for the detail and also increase the tiling a little bit So to match the color with this bow texture what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here in the color and take this picker and select something like this i'm going to duplicate this and make it a little bit lighter something like this and uh, i'm going to add some damage and wear to the corners with this material so i'm going to right click add a black mask and add a generator so we're going to use a metal edge wear generator for the edge damage so let's select this and uh, you'll have these damages on the edges you can increase the wear level to add more wear something like this and if it's not very not noticeable what you can do is you can change the color a little bit more and i'm going to make the base color a little bit darker so this looks good now since this is a boat house we need to add some moss from the ground so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a material of this rust course or the rust finds so i'm going to use this rust course drop it here and we're going to change the color later i'm going to go to my smart mask and we're going to use a mask which is this ground dirt and drop it here and i'm going to change the color of this rust now make it a little bit greener something like this and if it's too much what you can do is you can go to this mask editor and change the balance value a little bit and i think this much should be fine let's set it to 0 0.75 and i think we are good to go so i'm going to leave this uh, wood material here for now and add a material on a glass first and uh, we'll add the final touch later so let's go back to the texture set list and select a glass material go to layers delete this empty layer and i'm going to take a new fill layer now we're not going to make a glass transparent instead we are going to use metallic value so that a glass can be reflective so i'm going to turn this metallic value all the way to one and roughness maybe a little bit 0.05 and we're going to change the base color make it a little bit bluish now let's add some surface imperfection here so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a new layer turn off color metal normal and height channel add a black mask and in this black mask i'm going to add a fill layer and add a grunge map so that our fill layer can reflect the roughness here 
so let's select something that will work on this class so this grunge concrete looks good here or we can work with this grunge dust spread let's use this drop it here and we have this surface roughness so this looks good uh, you can also turn down the opacity if you don't want it to be that much rough now we need some roughness around the corners so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add uh, another filler and uh, ton of metal normal and height and i'm going to go to smart mask again and look for something like this this dirt cavity or cavity rust let's scroll down a little bit more and look for something suitable for this so let's select this sand first and see if it works all right so this looks nice and i'm going to go back to this layer and change the color of it let's go to the mask editor and maybe decrease the balance a little and turn down the opacity a little something like this All right, so our wood and glass are done. And I think I'll add some dirt around the corners on this boathouse. So let's go back to the boathouse material and take a new fill layer and drop the same sand on this material here. Go back to this and I'm going to turn off metal, AO, height and normal increase the roughness and maybe base color to something like something like this and also what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a paint layer and change this blending mode to linear dodge so that these two layers can work together and I'm going to take a new brush and add a little bit like this if it's too strong we can turn down the opacity later All right, so I'm going to turn this down a little bit to something like 60. All right, so our wood texturing is done. You can add few changes if you want. So I think I'll finish this video here. And in the next one, we're going to work on the door and the metallic parts. So let's give it a render in Substance Painter here and see how it looks.
so this is the final result for the wood texturing and i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new you can also join my discord server and follow me on the instagram all the links are given in the description so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one